just got back from Disney. So, it's in the box. What's in the box? Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of What's in the Box here on Chris McEwen's YouTube channel. I'm Bill Bush of DriveRangeHeroes.com, at Range Heroes, at all your favorite social media platforms. Uh, go down below, hit subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified every time we got a video coming up on this channel, whether it's that Range Life of Show, sometimes about golf, a course vlog, a gear talk, an on course uh, gear review kind of deal, whatever, you'll get notified. Um, I'm exhausted. I just went to Disney World for a week with my family. I feel like such a big shot, such a big time family man, and boy, uh, was that something, I'll just say that. But what I always enjoy about these uh, trips away is when I come home to all the stuff that wasn't received by me all week. And uh, one of those boxes was pretty exciting. I, didn't, I, I wasn't expecting this, it just showed up. I'm not quite sure what it is, but let me see if I can get this for you without doxing myself. I recognize this logo. Huh? That one? Ram. It's a name I haven't heard in a while. A little history lesson for you. Ram Golf, Golden Ram. Tom Watson uh, he had some success with them. Um, some great, great clubs in their history, like the Ram Laser. Um, I'm sorry, Laser FX irons. Check those out. Melrose Park, Illinois. Not too far away from me, maybe like 25 minutes. If traffic's all right, 45 if it's terrible. Close to Johnny's Beef in Elmwood Park, even more important. But uh, Ram Golf goes way back with their origins of there, with uh, Bristol Golf. And we're talking like the evolution of this company, uh, you know, into the 19... I want to say Ram came about 1950s-ish or so. But um, Melrose Park, Illinois, that's where they're, they, they started. Not too far from here. So... And it was on my train line when I used to commute to downtown Chicago for my work every day. So uh, that's the Ram logo. Lots of uh, success over the decades of their history. Um, these guys had, God, especially in the 80s and 90s, just some of the premier forged irons in golf. They were, they were the real deal. So uh, let's open her up, see what's in the box. As always, cut away from myself trying to be careful. Well, well taped. You guys know I'm a stickler for the well taped box. Package your golf goods delicately, right? Irons, I'm guessing irons or something close. Oh, this not away from myself. Because the box is heavy. But um, like I said, I'm not sure what to expect here very excited i'm not gonna lie um i'm a sucker for the old classic golf brands oh oh okay hmm a label there are two things in here okay two different things where to begin start with this i think these are two things here's what we have here Looks like a set of irons. So let's open it up, see what we got. Again, well packaged. Whoa. Look at this. A Ram, uh, a modern Ram iron. The FX 77 here, all right. Looking a little uh, player's distancey, all right. Some Lampkin grips, KBS Tour 90 shafts. All right, so this is a five iron. Let's uh, let's get into this. See see what we got here. There's five. Maybe this is where Chris can do some sort of you know high speed fast forward through all the all this. God. Oh, 
All right. Got a, the irons unboxed. Let's get this box out of here. We got four through pitch. Take the uh, four, five, six. Let's take the old seven iron here and unwrap it. All right. So like I said, got a little bit of a player's distance thing going on. Um, man, I don't know what to So here, here's what we'll do. We're going to stop here. I'm going to come go to a little research and come back and tell you all about these. All right. All right. Here's what I figured out. Ram Golf is in the process of being uh, brought back, if you will. The uh, FX 77 irons um, are now being offered in a direct to consumer model. So, as you know, if you watch, if you paid attention to this channel at all, um, cutting out the middlemen, giving you a premium product without having to pay other overhead so you can get a more affordable rate and a quality product. And that's what they're going for here. So, um, what we have is a stainless steel body and a, uh, so you have a different type of steel on the, I'm not sure if they're both stainless, uh, steel body and face, the face being a little hotter and uh, a little more jump to it. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, nothing about, so we have a, we have a plug here. I'm guessing we're, we're talking a hollow body iron. So there's probably something inserted in here. I'm assuming I'll find out when I start hitting them and I'll, I'll, I'll be able to tell. Um, but yeah, like I said, players distance iron, are they, they're a little bit large. You're not going to mistake it for a forged blade by any means. There's definite offset to them. Uh, top lines, you know, they're, they're a little thick, a little, a little beefy for that, uh, distance, distancey game improvement ish iron, but a really good profile. Call it a hot muscle back design. Uh, so uh, it has a forge like effect with their special heat treatment they give it. So I'm guessing this is two cast pieces put together. Um, all the weight is seems to be low in this head. So you're going to have a lower center of gravity for easier launch, get the ball up in the air and carrying more. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty minimalist design here. Looks really great. So four through pitch, we'll check that out. Uh, you know, don't know a ton about them. What are we? What are we looking at? Loft. So loft, we look a little power lofted here again in that you know modern contemporary distance iron. Um, these have KBS Tour 90s, like I mentioned, steel shaft offering, but it looks like you can get a UST recoil graphite if you want to go that route. Um, looking at four hundred and fifty dollars. Right for a four through pitch set, available in black as well. I don't know. Maybe the black finish is uh, is an upcharge. These might start at three ninety nine if I saw it correctly. As you see here, I have the chrome finish. The black looks pretty slick too. But I love this um this new Ram logo. Get the uh, auxiliary pictures to go with go with this video. But I'm very excited about this. I think anytime Ram golf's in the game, uh, things are good. It's a great name. So let's move on to this piece. All right. This I'm, um, <laughs> this thing is not insignificant in my mind. Um, one of the greatest putters in the history of the game also came from Raven golf. And, um, if you're a golf gear nerd, just saying the name Ram golf and putter, I think, you know, where this is likely going. Let's check this guy out. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Let's take the plastic off so I can talk about this thing in all of its glory here. Look at that. The Ram Zebra is back. All right, so Ram Zebra, I can't, God. who won the Masters with it? Like 96-ish? Mid nineties, drawing a blank. Oh, that's really bad. I should know that. Um, this, the the zebras won the masters, but this is not the zebra we all know from the past. This is a more modern, updated version of it. Nice. Uh, who who makes this grip? 
Nice wind pistol grip. Feels really great. Okay. Talk about that putter more. But uh, here, here's a story I want. That's a nice little head cover. Here's a story um, that I want you to know about. If you don't know the name Osti Rollison, Rollinson, sorry, chief designer of Zebra Putter Company. All right. So Ram used to make the Zebra Putter is really, really big. Uh, you know, there's been many that have come after it. But Ossie Rollinson uh, was, a, was a big name for really, I would say, how Odyssey got where they're at now. A lot of great designs and, um, you know, known for knowing his stuff around putters. And he's um, he's been brought back. He's brought, not back, brought into the fold to bring back Zebra Putters. And so in addition to this style, which is a little more... Um, you know, in line with the traditional zebra putter, you know, from the past, he's also done a few other designs using the same alignment concepts. One that looks like uh, like a, a basic answer style blade. He has one that looks like the big, you know, a big spaceship like mallet that's so popular now. Um, but there's four of these zebra putter design concepts. Same thing. We're going uh, at an affordable rate direct to consumer if i'm not mistaken but uh let's see let's see what the prices are on these guys because i'm gonna tell you right now feeling this thing feels great god there's so many good little things on it they have the a zebra etched on the sole of it and then the the weights have like a zebra pattern to them engraved in them super cool but uh yeah 220 dollars for this model and uh, the this is the AIT one, the AIT two, AIT three is a spaceshipy looking one. Go check it out at zebragolf.com. Uh, that guy's two fifty, and then the blade one I mentioned earlier is AIT four, two hundred bucks. But uh, I'm really excited about that. The zebra, what a classic putter. And now get to try it out for myself. Has sort of a has an insert face in there metal insert but um i don't know i don't really there's not much to say it's it's a classic classic putter design nice little face balance there if there's one guy in modern golf who knows how to make a good putter it's Osti rollins and he knows what he's doing knows some great stuff um i'm very confident this guy will do a good job with zebra golf and zebra putters and bringing them back so Check those guys out over at zebragolf.com and uh, stay tuned. We'll get we'll get some uh, encore stuff going or gear talk, whatever. But we're gonna talk more about this stuff. All right, at Range Heroes, all the social medias. Go to jrangeheroes.com. Read all my golf content. Don't forget to subscribe to Chris's YouTube channel down below here. Leave a comment. You remember zebra putters? Talk about them. And what were your favorite Ram golf irons? I'd love to know. Like I said, I'm a big laser FX guy. And then. While you're at it, go follow at Chris McEwen if you don't mind. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.